Reptile, our siege engineer, withdraws from society. We've also got some migrants that have shown up on the edge of the map. And I've got the drawbridge down. Hopefully they'll start coming in. Singing trains. And Reptile claims a craftsman workshop. Still just working on this over here. Not a lot going on. It's 27th granite, 149 early spring. We've got new migrants on the way. Reptile is working on an artifact. And the massive pit over here continues to be dug out. Got many floors to go, it looks like. A long ways to go. We don't have child labor here at the vault. There's no way. I wouldn't possibly dream of putting the children to work. Our friends from the Azri Shosha have arrived, yay. Brought their caravan, one so far, two. Still just working on the, uh, the big construction in the base. Training up the military, training up new uh, fortress guard, I think. Got a lot of, a lot of little things I'm gonna have to start building. Should be a fun little project once we get everything set up. It'll provide some entertainment between the sieges anyways. Flame of Dark ends a mandate because RAR 359 has been re-elected as mayor. So RAR will send you back to the bedroom. Let's see. That's what? One, two, three, four. Four wagons that time? It's not too many. we got a raider thief trapped in this cage here. So we'll let him stay in there. Teach him a lesson. He can go join all of our, all of our other friends back there in the animal stockpile soon. Starting to have more puppies than I can deal with, too. Got a lot of war dogs trained up for the new recruits right now. I wanted to throw some on them before they turned into champions. Gonna try to have a guard, uh, a guard section out here at all times in this airlock. I'd like to keep it this kind of on lockdown in case any uh, any sieges try to show up and attack our trade depot. We can fend them off while we get it sealed up. Help the merchants if they come under attack so they don't get destroyed and run away. Then never come back and bring us any any goods. They're just hauling a whole bunch of stones out of the pit here. I want to get all this removed before I flood it with water one final time. Once we get this filled up with water, uh, probably won't be draining it out of there again. Unless an accident happens. So I'm gonna let all the trees grow up for now as well and then try to chop them all down in one fell swoop. That way I don't have anything blocking the pipes. Cursed trees. Might have to f put new floor tiles down over that before I flood it again too little side project here we're working on. I'm going to try to capture as many of these aquatic creatures as possible. I'm digging a stairwell straight to them. That way they don't have to fight the flood. And once I've got all the cage traps set up here, we'll set the military up, probably in this room, and we'll let as many creatures come down as possible down this tunnel, we'll get caught in all the cage traps. Any that make it down here, our military will quickly dispatch, and we'll clean that up and get all of them out of there. Maybe start fishing in this water pipe here. So have they arrived yet? Yep, they're unloading their goods. Also took some advice and put some statues here. Kept having people come and try to stand right here while the gates were down. So they were vomiting in the sun. But they wouldn't actually leave. They were taking their breaks here instead of going to the statue garden. So they'd come all the way out here and stand on break. Which is not acceptable. Now they won't come stand there. So we'll get these merchants set up, get the bridge pulled behind them, send the catfish out there to trade, and we'll see what goods we can get from them. It's 21st Hematite, 149, early summer. Population is 182. We've had some, uh, had some migrants come in earlier. 
Haven't really been filming anything because it's all been fairly uneventful since that last super mutant siege. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of stuff hauled over there. I'm just going to dump off a whole bunch of this super mutant stuff that we have here that we've picked up. All of their large, uh, large steel metal stuff, all of that. I've melted some of it down, but not everything is getting picked up to be melted down. Also selling some of our broken gear, any clothing that I've been able to get them to haul over here. I'm not going to buy everything in their caravan. They can make off with a lot of money here. I just want to get some of this stuff out of the out of the fortress. We don't need it. It's trash, but we will take all of their wood. Can never have enough of that. It's not growing up quick enough in the tunnels. Not for the barrels that we need anyways. They got a lot of wood here. We'll probably buy all of their wood, all of their food, and all of their alcohol. So we'll see what we get out of this. Many pages of wood, jeez. They've got several pages of food here too. They probably had like 10 pages of wood, 10 or more pages. Looks like they might have 10 or more pages of food here too. I think that's the last of it. Last page there, and pick up all this cheese. They had a few pages of drink, not too much. We don't need the thread or the steel greaves there, so this is what we've got. We'll flip to the pages real quick there. I passed up all the leather and cloth items. Don't want any of that crap. Throw that into the magma. They bought. They had this page of drink here. They've got. They had some barrels. Let's trade all of our stuff there and be on our way. They can make off like bandits. We don't need anybody in there, so start hauling the wood in, start hauling the food in, people. Congratulations, we've had a good bounty today. What are we up to? 367 meat, 100 fish now. Our food storage just went up about a thousand there. Does it say how much wood we picked up? We only had like 10 wood before this. Logs, 182 now. We've got plenty of stone, should never run out of that. So what is it? An 8th Malachite 149 Midsummer? We'll go ahead and let the traders here start packing up all their stuff while we bring our new goods in here. And when they're ready to leave, we'll send them on their way. And Togs, right there. As soon as we were getting ready to leave, let the merchants do their thing. Unload all these goods. You decide to withdraw from society. So Togsuck, you've been with us for a long time too. Let's see what shop you claim. What mood do you have? Very busy hallway here. What are we up to? 182 population now? Here comes Togsuck. Stumbling through the workman shops. He claims a craftsman workshop. The last one that we had was uh, Spike's Air, a cave oak cup. And let's see, it is crafted of the highest quality, encrusted with micro line, decorated with dog leather and turtle shell, and encircled with bands of green glass and rose quartz. This object is adorned with hanging rings of cave oak and menaces with spikes of cave oak and micro line. On the item is an image of rope reeds and red spinal. Don't know who made that either, I forgot who the creator of that was. Let's find out. Mandated, mandated, mandated. Who knows, so long ago. Probably never find it. Might be in here somewhere. Oh well. We'll see what you create here, Togsuck. Create us something good, better than a cup. Merchants will be on their way soon, so we'll have to seal that all off. Get ready to forbid it. That way no one's out there when we drop the bridge. Keep it organized, everyone. I don't want you to drop and break anything. Those logs are very fragile. 